How's my hair look? It's kind of early. Who cares? You know, I like these mountains. That's the famous boulder flat irons, but the light's just not good here, so I'm gonna point the camera the other way. All right, this is a little bit better. Welcome to beautiful Boulder. So, I was wondering when I would get the motivation, inspiration, spark to make a new video. It's been over a month since I've touched a camera, since I've opened my editing software, and I just haven't felt it. And then last night, I couldn't sleep, I was up late, and I started scrolling through my Instagram all the way to the very beginning of Instagram, my Instagram, back in 2010. And I was looking at all these photos and my captions, and it just filled me with a sense of, of gratitude, you know? Ah, what a life! And I just started feeling really happy again and excited to get out there again and, like, get it on, you know? So I was like, tomorrow I'm going to wake up early and come out here and make a little video for you. Sorry, this is kind of like a boring style video. I'm just going to be talking to the camera. But baby steps, you know what I'm saying? We'll get back to the full productions here soon enough. But I just wanted to make a video to let you all know that I'm good. I've had a great month of uh, doing almost nothing. <laughs> which, which is like the first time in my life uh, I've really just sat back and just let it all be. Like I've just really focused on being present, being here, being here. I've spent a lot of time here at my sacred thinking trees out in nature. <sighs> and uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank all of you out there, all you wonderful people. When I made my video about feeling burned out, so many of you reached out and uh, just poured on the love and it touched my heart deeply and I can't thank you enough. I really, uh, I really still get affected by it when I think about it. Like, it's like, wow, all these people around the world really care about me and that's a special feeling because I care about you. And this is a two-way thing, this is a community, this isn't just Ryan's YouTube channel, this is, this is us. You know, everything I put on here is to hopefully motivate you to go out and challenge yourselves or to just, you know, put a smile on your face or, you know, enjoy a bean burrito, whatever it is. Whatever you get out of this channel. And then you share that with your neighbors and your friends and your community and we're all making the world a better place. And uh, that's, that's the goal with all of this. And, um, it feels really good to be standing here right now talking to you because I didn't know when I'd get this feeling back and I was worried that I wouldn't get it back. Um, and uh, I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude. So, thank you. <laughs> I wish I could reach right through there and just give you all a big hug uh, because I care about you all. So what have I been doing exactly? <laughs> well, just taking it easy, really. And uh, it's been really good for me physically and mentally. And I've spent a lot of time with near and dear friends, of course. A lot of long walks with my friend Waylon. A lot of bike rides with, with Dana. You all know and love Dana. Spending a lot of time with my mom, uh, my brothers, and his two cute little kids. And uh, every night, actually, my brother calls on FaceTime when his kids are in the bathtub. And we have this little bath time moment, and it's just so fun to be connected to them, even though it's just through a phone. And uh, I've also been uh, spending a lot of time with my grandma. As you know, in the most recent video, I told you that she's suffering from pretty severe dementia. And uh, I've been going to visit her about twice a week. And some days are good and some days are bad. Dementia's, you know, so unpredictable. And uh, more than anything, it just feels good to be with her and hold her hand and let her know that I love her. You know, I just sit there with her and hug her and listen to her. And most of what she says doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's, it's hard to understand her sometimes. Um, but I think she does understand love. You know, we all do, no matter what's going on in our brains. Uh, we feel the human connection and that's been really powerful in my life. 
over the last year with my grandma. You see, she didn't, she didn't live in Boulder. Uh, she lived in New Hampshire, so I only saw her about twice a year. So even though she's suffering from dementia, which is a horrible disease, um, we brought her out here and I've been uh, seeing her more than I ever have in my life. And uh, it's a good reminder just to live every day to the fullest. I know it's kind of a cliche saying, but it really, it really is. She had this wonderful life, madly in love with her high school sweetheart, um, traveled the world. My grandpa was in the military. He worked at embassies all over the world, and they had this incredible dream life. And uh, about five years ago, we started noticing things. She was forgetting things. She was saying things over and over, the same things over and over. And uh, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And now her, her life is completely different. She doesn't even really know where she is. Um, and it's, it's heartbreaking. It absolutely is heartbreaking. And it just, it's a good reminder. Like you never know when something's gonna be taken away from you whether it's your mind or a severe injury or death, you never know. My grandma was living this amazing life and all of a sudden dementia hit. And now she can't even put on her own clothes. And uh, yeah, it's tough, but we're there with her every day. And uh, she's physically, she's great. So I think we've got her for a while longer and I'm just gonna keep on going and loving on her and uh, it's been good for both of us it really has and she still remembers me whenever I show up she, she knows it's me she calls me Rye hey Rye <laughs> it's been really nice just to be here with my grandma and not traveling you know usually I'm on the go I'm in and out I can't commit to to seeing her all that often but for this past month it's been all Nana and uh it's been great for the both of us. All right, that sun just popped through the clouds. I'm gonna move the camera. <sighs> I don't know if that's any better. It's hard to escape the very bright Colorado morning sun. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Um, and I also like to say, it's okay to cry. Men can cry. You've seen me do it many times, <laughs> many times on this channel. That's love just pouring out of me. That's all it is. Tears are a-okay. <sighs> Another highlight of the last month was my birthday on January 21st. Mark it down on your calendars. <laughs> I turned 43 years old. What? That sounds old. And you know what? My mom told me when I turned 43, she's like, do you know what? I was 43 when you graduated from high school. Aww. <laughs> Mom, why'd you have to say that? <sighs> That's all right. Young at heart, forever. And I still have my hair. Of course, it's getting a little gray, but that's all right. So on my birthday, I just went on a nice long run, a four hour run. And it was a snowy day and it was beautiful. And I just wanted to be outside in nature, moving my body and have time to think about this beautiful life that I have. And I really started thinking a lot about taking a month off and how fortunate I am that I could even do that. So many people, my mom, for example, when she was raising kids, couldn't just be like, you know what, I'm burned out, I'm taking a month off, peace out. Uh-uh, she had four kids to raise. And uh, I'm really grateful that I've had this time just to be with myself and uh, figure things out and really think about what I want in my life and in the future. And it gave me time to think about the past and just all this beauty. And I was, I've just, the whole past month, I've just been overwhelmed with a feeling of gratitude. I'm so fortunate and grateful for this beautiful life and for what I get to do as my job. I get to talk to you, I get to share stories with you travel the world and that's my job and uh, it's an absolute dream come true and even though I've felt burnt out and tired um, you know I really always come back to just gratitude for for the ability to do this and to have all of you on my side and uh, I know that 
And I've been getting messages from you. When are you coming back? When are you coming back? And you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate that you're excited to, to see new videos and I'm excited to, to make them. I don't really count this as like a cool new video. This is more of like a catch up with you and me, but I will get back to it soon enough. Um, and on the birthday, the night of my birthday, I had dinner um, with my nearest and dearest, with my mom and Dana and Xantha and uh, another person, <laughs> another person was at my birthday dinner and uh, oh man, there's, there's somebody new in my life and it's incredible. And this is just an example of uh, life handing you something when you least expect it. You know that John Lennon quote, life is what happens when you're off making other plans? Well, I was off making other plans. <laughs> Actually making no plans, not doing a whole lot. And then a very special woman came into my life and I didn't expect it and I'm not even sure that I was ready for it or wanted it I was kind of okay with being single single guy you know my life is awesome and uh, relationships have always been very tough for me I have a hundred percent failure rate <laughs> you know and I've loved deeply I have a lot of love to give and I've had wonderful girlfriends and I've learned so much from them and I still love all of them, um, but uh, it, things haven't worked out. And you know, it's been years since I've met somebody. And uh, <laughs> this is, oh, you can tell I'm excited. When I'm excited and I'm feeling love, these things come out, tears. <laughs> I met a wonderful woman and uh, her name is Amelia. And she was at my birthday dinner with me. <laughs> so that's, this is the whole story of why there was another person at my birthday dinner. And she's wonderful, and she's kind, and she's thoughtful, and she's caring, and she's athletic, and she likes running and riding bikes. And we've had a wonderful month together, getting to know one another. And it's, it's really special, because I didn't know if I would ever feel this again. I'm in love, I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. And now you all know it. And uh, I have a really good feeling about this. I have a really good feeling, and I know it's only been five weeks since we've officially been together, but uh, it feels so good. It's a deep, passionate, intense, genuine love built on honesty, and we've been open with one another. And, uh, you're probably bored with this, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't think I was going to come up here and get emotional, <laughs> but uh, I can't help it. It's just, it's just who I am. <laughs> I want to go find a new spot. Come with me. So I woke up early today after not sleeping a lot last night, motivated to make a video, essentially just to let you know that I'm good. I'm really good. And, uh, and I want to thank you again for all of the huge outpouring of love that you bombarded me with. Uh, it really humbled me. It really did. And uh, thank you all so much. Uh, I'm feeling my sense of joy and wonder coming back every day. I feel a little bit more excited about all this every day. And. Uh, I don't know what my channel is going to look like going forward. I don't know if I can maintain the one video a week thing. Sometimes I will when I go on an adventure and I have tons of footage, but I don't know if I can maintain the one video a week. It's just a ton, um, but I'm going to do my best. I promise you I'm going to do my best. I love this channel. This is my job. I love all of you. And uh, I know that a lot of you count on these videos to just put a smile on your face and show you the beauty of the world. And I take my job very seriously because um, I, I want to do this. I want to be there for you on your Sunday mornings or Sunday afternoons in Europe or two in the mornings in Australia or whatever time it is when I release these videos. Um, but uh, I'm good. I'm really good. 
and uh, I feel like the best, the best is yet to come, and that really excites me. And even when I say it out loud, I, I believe it and I know it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna reach through here now and give you all a big hug. Whoop! And uh, I hope you're all doing well. I really, I really do. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. You know the whole deal. If you would like to support me on Patreon, I would really appreciate it. It's going to keep this channel moving, going to keep this machine going forward. And I promise, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. Think of all the endless drone shots that are coming your way and all the beautiful close-ups of flowers and more importantly, all the wonderful people I'm going to meet and then I'm going to introduce you to. That's my favorite part of all this is sharing their stories with you and letting us all know that you know we're all connected we're all neighbors we're all brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers and children you know this is the hippie in me coming out now but we are all connected and uh, we're connected through love and I'm feeling it more than ever right now I really am so have a wonderful day and stay tuned <laughs>